Hey babes, how are we doing? <sighs> so, had an awesome day at work. It was a little bit of a slow day, um, but it was really nice. Um, me and one of my coworkers, the other bartender, we did some like deep cleaning. We got everything stocked. Uh, Friday is kind of our shipment day where a lot of stuff comes in, so. Definitely have um, retapped some kegs over the last few days. They have all just been kicking on me. And like, I just get like this whole beer foam shower. Come on, babies. But today was pretty cool. I had this awesome interaction with this woman came in. This woman uh, who came in, Her name is Allie. And we just like hit it off. And you know, when sometimes you have those like deeper connections, instant connections that just, leave you feeling like wow i'm super grateful for that interaction today that was that today so it was awesome meeting her when she came in nobody else was in uh so she was our only customer and sorry forgive me me and the dogs are walking up a hill right now um and they're pulling me and i'm trying not to i don't want uma to roll in in the dirt because sometimes they'll be like coyote or like deer pee and then she reeks so bad and we have to go through like a series of baths to get the stank off her um good babies but yeah when she came in she was the only customer she sat at the bar did this whole little taste testing thing with her um our our wedding rings and our engagement rings are come on baby like matching um except her her uh, pear-shaped diamond has a halo around it, but it's just so cool. We talked about babies and we talked about our weddings and honeymoons and everything. And it was just such an awesome interaction. And she asks me, she asked me, excuse me, when I normally work um, because she she wants to come in when I'm there. So um, yeah, I really hope to see her soon. It's a good, it's a good day. Um, it always takes me a while after the burn i think to fully get back into like the energy of things and figuring out the sleep schedule and back into my routine and eating well and the gym and all that stuff and since we've been back so today is the 27th 28th and we got home like what on the 5th or 6th <laughs> so it's been a chunk of time and I've been to the gym once and I'm used to going to the gym like at least five days a week and walking the dogs. And so my plan is to go to the gym in a little bit, walking the dogs now. And I just feel like good and energized. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just get on here, say hey, definitely trying to get back into the habit like I just not just back into the habit but I want to get into my grind of posting these videos for you babes you know and for myself because it it feeds it feeds me and gives back to me so just need to jump on it you know how sometimes when you're like you're on a roll with something and then you stop and during that time that you've stopped, maybe you begin question, questioning yourself again or the fear that maybe you were experiencing before you started that thing starts to creep back in. So I just need to like surrender and let go and say goodbye to the fear. Excuse me, my arm is so hurting. Um, come on babies, give me one second. Um, yeah, and just get the ball rolling again. So I really, 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 really um, just need to get the ball rolling again. And I think I'm just getting into my head because I'm like, I don't necessarily want to go. So I have filmed practic practically on and off since my last video, which I posted in December, like the what? The eighth day of Vlogmas or something. And, oh, sorry, my shoulder. And, and the dogs are pulling me. Hold on a second. <laughs> so.
so so I have like all these I guess older vlogs if you will but I just I don't know if I want to go back to that energy quite yet. I'm loving life right now. And obviously in the past couple months, like with the wedding and getting married and Burning Man and all of that stuff. And so part of me just wants to start there and then maybe work my way backwards. But, but I think the OCD part of me or whatever part of me is all like, well, it's not in chronological order. So therefore it's not gonna work, you know, but I just gotta, I just gotta delve in, you know, and just figure it out and not worry about that. Cause I definitely don't want to start posting stuff from December and January because that was not a good chunk of time. Um, it just was not a good chunk of time for me. And so I don't want to go back to that energy, you know? But at the same time, I want to fill in the gap and make it all like piece together and be cohesive and make sense and there to be understanding of, you know, I guess of my story or what I went through because I know that we all kind of deal with it. And yeah, I just, I guess why I want to shed a little bit of light on it and then let everybody else know that sometimes life has its ups and downs, but it does get better. And anybody who is going through it, for them to know that they're not alone and it does get better and to keep chugging along and, you know, just finding, I guess, new ways to take care of your, take care of yourself and enjoy life while you're waiting for things to get back on track for how you want them to be, you know? And I'm sorry that the filming of this is really not the best, but I hope my vibes are coming through. It's gorgeous out. I'm enjoying this walk with the dogs other, other than trying to record right now and being pulled in which however many different ways, but they're enjoying it. I could see it. They're getting so much stimulation from all the little, you know, smells and what not but um yeah who knows maybe i should just post this tonight and say that caterade is back <laughs> yes mommy mommy's back Uma looked up at me she's like what yes we're back in here come here chico chicos maybe i'll just post this tonight and say that caterade is back and there's videos coming your way babe Bza. babes Oh, we gotta, let's walk because there's dogs coming. Okay, let's go. Let's go, chicos. Come on, chico, 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 chicos. Okay, so let me take these off. There we go. Got a little, let me wash my face. Little shadow going. Ooh, hello, raccoon. Um, so that was a really nice long walk. Went like way farther than I had expected. So that's awesome. Yay us. I'm happy when my babies get exercise and feel good and all of that stuff. Um, so I was just thinking on the way home and it's like, I keep forgetting that. So I had my IUD removed um, a couple days after we got back from the burn. And when I, um, so I did some research just so I could be a little prepared with, um, some symptoms, you know, or anything that I would be experiencing after the fact. And I think maybe that could be contributing to why I'm so tired. I think my body's trying to figure out it's, you know, go back to its, you know, unique rhythm and figuring out the hormones, uh, because I had a hormonal one and it starts with an M. Oh my gosh, I just had it a second ago and now it disappeared from my mind. Um, so that could be why too that I'm tired. In addition to trying to figure out my sleep schedule, you know, from the burn, not being in the gym, hormones, IUD removed, my body's like, wait, do you wanna have a period? Do you not, do you? Wait, wait, here we go. Oh, wait, no, just kidding. <laughs> and then a few nights ago, Uma, 
ate some chicken bones. Didn't you? You ate some chicken bones. Yeah, bad mommy and daddy definitely know better, but it was just like one of those things that just, it was an honest, honest mistake. So anyway, Erin and I ended up staying up all night with her. And I think I dozed off like for 20, 30 minutes at some point, but I was just keeping an eye on her the entire night. We definitely saw the sun come up, but thankfully she only exhibited half of a symptom, if that makes sense, not fully, but kind of had us wondering one of the symptoms that Erin had looked up online, but we fed her olive oil and put steamed rice in her food. And then I put some ham in her food to like, to incentivize her to eat all the rice and um, her dog food. And then Erin had read something about giving a piece of bread to help like, you know, cushion um, her system or her stomach. So I gave her a piece of bread. <laughs> anyway, she is all good, happy and healthy. Um, but always a scare when it comes to your babies, you know? So anyway, so I'm sure a few nights ago, being up all night kind of threw off my system even more while I'm tired. So I'm sure all of those things are contributing, but I'm feeling good. Um, slowly feeling like I'm getting grounded again, you know? And then with fall coming, I don't know if it's because I'm a Libra and October is like two days away. Three, two, whatever, one, count down, level up, level up. Anyway, I don't, <laughs> but I just, I love fall and that little crispness in the air, that morning chill, you know, but the days are still really nice, but not too hot because my birthday's right around the corner, but I love fall and kind of, I think that excitement building, knowing that the holidays, you know, are coming up. Just all the coziness. But yeah, so I just wanted to share that because I had that aha moment of why I'm feeling probably why I've been feeling because of the IUD. So I wanted to share that. Let me sip on some water. My lips are chapped. Mm. I really need to go get my nails done. <sighs> it's like nail polish that I painted over from Burning Man when Aaron decided to get his first manicure. Loved it. It was so awesome. He had his, like, all of his nails painted like this dark teal, and then they <laughs> he painted um, his middle fingers gold. <laughs> but anyway. Meh. Anyway. Um... Yeah, so ever since my spiritual awakening, I, and then even more so after all my Reiki training and my energy being opened up, I have, and I don't know if you would call it psychic, I guess that is like kind of subjective in its own way of how people view psychic abilities or picking up on certain things or maybe there's a different term. I don't know. I guess I'd be interested to speak to other people who have similar experiences and how they experience their experiences. I don't know how to say it, but so this morning as I was getting ready for work, Aaron and the dogs were still sleeping in the bed um, and right before leaving, I had this random memory pop into my head. And the memory was when I was in fourth grade and my mom was taking me and my little sister to school. And we dropped my little sister off first at the daycare. And then we were driving down to the elementary school. And my mom was going to be dropping me off and it was down this steep, steep hill. And there was a kid, um, he was in fifth grade, so a year older than me, riding his skateboard down the hill. And he hit something and he totally like, like ate it. <laughs> and he like tumbled on his skateboard and just got really banged up. And we saw it all happen and it was just like, <gasps> total shocker, you know, and you have morning traffic. And it was right before two that uh, like where the intersection was. 
So thankfully he like didn't go into the street, but oh my gosh. And thankfully like he, he was okay. He just got a little like banged up and everything. But my mom pulled over and um, she was all like, are you okay? You know, and it was safe to say he was going to school, but she's like, please get in the car. I'll take you. We were familiar with him. Not like super, him and I weren't like super close friends, but obviously kind of like classmates. Um, and I'm pretty sure his mom worked at the school. So, you know, my mom, you know, helped him into the back seat and grabbed his skateboard. And so that, I had that whole little memory go through my mind this morning, just out of nowhere. And this happens a lot where I'll just have these random little things pop into my head. So then you fast forward through our day and Uma and Chap and I are walking down this steep hill on our walk just now on our way back home. And I look over and I see this boy sitting in the rocks um, and his hat is like up a little bit and his bike is all contorted in between him and his hat. And I stopped and um, I was across the street. We had crossed because another person was walking their dog. And I always just like to give space just in case, you know. And so I stopped and I was like, hey, are you okay? You know, do you need any help? Um, can I do anything for you? Do you need a phone? Do you want to call your parents? Whatever, just, he was probably all like, lady, shut up. <laughs> He's all like, what's with all the questions? But he said he was okay and he just needed a minute and um, all of that stuff. But, and then when we were walking home, it also clicked in my head. Like, I don't even know if that makes sense, you know? Like, was me having that little memory from fourth grade almost like like <laughs> excuse my babies <laughs> does does that make sense almost like so when i have these little random memories from my past it seems like not necessarily an identical, but a similar situation will happen that day. So, yeah, I guess I'm just commenting on it. I'm sharing about this because even though I make these videos for you babes and I want to connect and, and share with people and help in any way that I can and just so many, I don't know what the words are right now. They're also for me and they're kind of like my online diary, if you will, you know? And I think they're also something, my intention is also something, and this may sound a little morbid. Oh my gosh, I'm all like going to hit on so many different topics and subjects <laughs> in one video, but um, death has always scared me. I have a fear of death and hold on I don't even know how I link that all together in my mind my mind moves so fast but my words and my mouth I wish it could go at the same speed I remember growing up and always telling people and now it's funny that I'm a Reiki master because so much communication happens between communication happens through the palm of my hands if you will but I remember always growing up and getting so tongue-tied but things would be so clear and perfect in my mind and I always had a hard time writing. Like I'd sit down and I would say the perfect thing in my mind, but it would move too fast and I couldn't get it out fast enough. But I remember always saying to people, close friends, family, especially a lot to my mom, um, I wish I could just like transfer the feeling. Like I wish I could just touch you or I wish I could just communicate and you would just like through my hands or through my thoughts, like I wish I could just send this from here to you and you would know exactly what I mean or what I'm feeling. Um, but I think, so what I was going to say is my other intention behind making these videos. And I think too, okay. The other intention is, I think, for my children to see these um, one day. Oh, I'm so not going to cry. Um, my intention is for um, Aaron's and my babies to see these one day. As I get older, like every, 
I have so much love and appreciation and gratitude for my parents. Um, and as I get older, that love, appreciation, gratitude, immense like thankfulness for them and who they are as human beings and everything they've done for me and my siblings. And just, oh my gosh, okay. Um, it grows every, every year. And I think too, as I get older, I just wonder like, how was my mom, you know? Like, I wish I would have known her, like, when she was in her 20s or, well, technically, I did know her. I was just really, really small. But, you know, just things like that, like, oh, and that's one of the beautiful things I think about, you know, in terms of this digital age. One of the pros is that we can create all of this awesome stuff that we get to look back on and you know, as a part of our legacy. Um, and so, yeah, just sometimes I wish I like, oh, I, I wish I had videos of my parents, you know? I wish I had videos of this or that and like I can get to know them like on a, on a different level, if that makes sense. Like as I've gotten older, like, I don't just see my parents as my parents. I think as I've become more of an individual, I've seen them just as human beings living this life experience too, you know? And I don't know, I guess I'm creating something for my children that I wish I had um, for my parents, you know? Oh my gosh, we're not doing this. Um, yeah, and I've had that thought a lot lately. So I feel like that's also one of my big intentions and drive to do this is I, I just, I wanna capture, I wanna capture this human experience i want this for our babies and um yeah and the reason i brought up the death thing i wonder if yeah i have a fear of death i have a fear of other people dying i just we can get into that on another video on where that stems from <laughs> But I think somewhere in my mind, I related it back to, never mind. You know, that's probably going not too deep, but I can't even think of how I related the intentions of, anyway, I'm just going to leave it there. I really don't want to edit this. I'm going to edit out the barking and it's not, see, this is my core is showing right now because I'm going to start judging myself because now I was going to start almost explaining myself saying, well, I wasn't gonna not edit it because out of laziness or blah, 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 but just because it just feels so real and authentic to this moment and I really don't need to explain myself. <laughs> um, yeah, and I feel like I didn't wrap up the whole, what I was explaining about like the psychic stuff or whatever. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't seem, you know what? I'm just gonna stop talking. And when I watch this back during a little bit of edit so I can add an opening and closing. Okay, that was really weird what just flashed on the TV screen. What was that? Ooh, ah, goosies. Okay, by the way, so many goosies today. I look like a freaking raccoon. That's okay. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. If I need to jump in here with a little clip to explain something while editing, well then you know what, I'm gonna do just that. Um, but you know what, I feel really <laughs> like I just wanna post this up tonight. I wanna post this tonight and get the ball rolling. Um, I think I've just been, excuse me, just in this creative block of not knowing where to start. So I haven't been posting, even though I've been wanting to. So we're just going to rip the band-aid off. We're going to post this. We're going to say, hey, babes, I've missed you so incredibly much. 
and um, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope they're feeling good. I hope you're all feeling good. I hope all my fellow burner babes out there had an awesome burn and had fun in the mud. And I hope that it wasn't I hope it wasn't super gnarly for you. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. I send so much love. I send so many blessings. I just send my cozy catering vibes your way. No. Know that more videos are on their way. There's so much to tell you, babe. So much has happened this year. This year started off really, really rough. And then it got the most amazing that it's ever been. And so <laughs> it's been a roller coaster. Um, but I'm thankful. I'm doing it. And... Yeah, over the next few videos, I'll catch you up with what's been happening, what's been going on. And yeah, Uma and Chap, love you. And yeah, okay. We'll see you guys in the next one. Ah, bye! Adios! Also, too, what's making me excited is I haven't done any Reiki or received any Reiki within the last couple weeks. I know, it's not good. But... Tomorrow, I have a distance Reiki session um, at 10 a.m., which I'm super excited for. Um, I won't be receiving. I'll be, I'll be practicing. So I have a client tomorrow, and so I'm just, <sighs> I'm just excited to get back to it. Uh, Reiki is a huge life calling for me. It's um, a huge part of my life purpose. I can... I'd love to, you know, I'll explain more about that in my spiritual journey in another video because I think it deserves its own little space and its own little video. But, um, yeah, so huge part of my purpose. So I'm just excited tomorrow to get back to it. And I just wanted to share that and yay, 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 all of the things. So excited. Have a great night. Mwah. Love you. Bye. And tomorrow's payday. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Now I'm done. <laughs> and happy full moon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it just keeps going. I'm in bed. I'm starting to edit this video. And I just saw an email from our photographer that our wedding pictures are um, available. And they're here and they're done. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. And it's like a part of me wants to look. But then at the same time, it's like I want to look together with Aaron. So I I think I'm gonna hold off or maybe I'll just like click and look at like all the tiny little thumbnails um but not like enlarge I don't know but yes wedding pictures are in yay mm -hmm.